fasten your seatbelts because we are on the road with one of the coolest guys around, the master of vintage car restoration with Wayne Carini. Let's go. All right, so tell me, this car, I know you're a Ferrari lover. You're yeah. a lover of Ferraris. It's where you kind of got your first love of a passion for cars. Yeah, well, my dad uh, restored cars for a living when I was growing up, so it was a natural thing for me. But I always liked, you know, uh, reading road and track and that stuff. And so Roger was my mechanic and another shop in Glastonbury used to have uh, fix exotic cars, Ferraris, Maseratis and things like that. So I sort of used to hang out there and look at all the cars. And you're from the area. Yeah, Glastonbury. Yeah, you're from Glastonbury, from Glastonbury. But you've had this show, you've had Chasing Classic Cars for eight years now. Eight years. Going into your ninth season, right? Yeah, actually it's nine years. We did uh, two one-hour specials the first year, and then after that it was uh, just a quick deal. These car shows are always great to have charities involved. So we always try to make sure, and because of my involvement with autism, now more and more car shows have that as, as their uh, main charity, yeah. so they're able to give back. I was, it, it was a very cool thing, I met a guy at, a, at an auction once and, and he said I'd like to make a donation uh, to autism in, in your daughter's name, and I gave him the name of the person to contact. She called me about a week later, she says, who's this guy Jim? I don't know, he's this guy I met at a car auction and he you know, started looking into autism and, and he wanted to give some money. So she says, well, he just gave us $100,000. And he's going to give us $100,000 for the next 10 years every year. And so I called Jim and I said, geez, I really got to thank you. I don't know what, what to say. I said, well, I see PhD at the end of your name. Um, what are you a doctor of? And he says, well, I invent things. Uh, I invented the MRI. <laughs> so, oh, just that. <laughs> yeah. That little thing. Well, he was part of a group. Right. And, and part of their... Uh, thing is, is that they give money away every year. There's a group of about 10 guys and they all hang out together and they're all very wealthy and, and part of their deal is who, who do we give our wealth to? You know, sort of that uh, um, Steve Jobs type right. of a thing, you know, and, and, and Bill you Gates, give. you know, give back. Right. You, know. Exactly. you know, you gotta have your feet on the ground. Uh, and, you know, I don't know who taught me that. I think it was my uncles or maybe my dad, whatever. But you know what? It's, it's going to be tomorrow, it's going to be another day, and, and uh, this TV show could be all over with in another few years, and you know, you got to keep your, your job and your family, and family is the most important thing to me, and it always has been, you know, we grew up in an Italian family in Glastonbury, and, and so my grandfather ate every meal with us, you know, we lived next door to my aunt and uncle, and it's, you know, it's all about your, your family, it still is that way with me. This is, we're in a Ferrari right now, this Ferrari is what, a 79 Ferrari? 308. GTB, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Magnum PMU. It is, except it doesn't have a removable uh, top. Uh, can't have it all. Magnum wouldn't <laughs> be able to, to fit in this car. Okay.